Hey everybody, this is Way to Fail with another Scrolls Ranked Replay, where today we have a game between Voidhead playing Energy. Yes, that's right, Energy. It does exist, even in ranked ladder and higher level play. Versus Artrox, or Artrox, I've been told it's pronounced Artrox, I'll see if I can maintain that pronunciation, who is playing Order, as he has so been willing to show and share his Order deck. So let's go ahead and get this game started, as this is a matchup that many people have said is kind of a pain. But let's see how Voidhead, whose perspective we'll be watching from this, handles it. You can see his opening hand. He gets some good creatures to play early. Thunder Surge and Burn are good nukes to hold on to, although maybe not as high priority early. Interesting that he's packing a Magma Pack as well. For those of you unfamiliar with the card, it doubles an attack, which is really good for clearing key units, which Energy is very good at taking units off the board. You just got to try and make sure that you do not... Um, get caught behind. So Voidhead, as you can see, I'm using the Scrolls Post mod for this and sometimes it does pop through pretty quickly. Uh, Voidhead does discard his Thunder Surge, once again not as valuable early as late game, and gets a Gravelock Elder. So right now he does have some creatures that he can put on the board to ramp and scale, and Artrox playing his usual order deck, it would appear that he doesn't necessarily, or it would appear that He's not going to be putting as much on the board early, but two Gravelock Elders up front, including a pretty glossy one for Voidhead. It does have some a stat scroll on the side. But more importantly is that he has a lot of creatures. He can actually, he did elect to dump the Magma Pack and does have the possibility of putting two Gravelock Elders on the board very early, which is tough for anyone to deal with. So there is the Gun Automaton. As Artrox Okay, Mangonel on turn what? We're turn three, and he's already dropping a Mangonel. I, I don't even know what to say about that. You usually see Mangonels later for board clearing. I don't know what that says about his hand or what. Is <laughs> you can see Voidhead's reaction too. This is this is ranked play. This is for chips and marbles and ratings. So. I don't know if Artrox is smarter or Artrox is smarter than we are, but Voidhead gets a third Gravelock Elder, so oh, that's gonna be that's gonna be tough for anything. I don't know. You you might you want to Mangonel that combo if you can, as Voidhead gets rid of the Scatter Gunner, moves his Gun uh, Gun up, and Artrox protects the Mangonel with the Spearman. So that's interesting. That means that this this Mangonel is denying these four tiles. So it does take a little bit of a while to work, but it's certainly something that you can do. You see more with energy using artillery for the ones that do say use destroyers, try and deny tiles. But it looks like maybe that's Ar what Artrox is doing. I don't know. Maybe he's... There's all kinds of possibilities, and aren't the possibilities part of the fun here? So there is the quick burn to get rid of the mangonel. So for all that talk, and there it goes. As the spearman not nearly as good against energy... As he says, shoo there. But the Spearman not nearly as good against Energy where they have so many ranged units. But you see Energy so rarely in Ladder that I guess Voidhead can just sneak it in and say, you know what, here I am and I'm going to play play it out just a little bit. So we're at round five. Artrox gets out his Ducal Skirmishers. He's starting to put his beefier units on the board. But Voidhead's about to show him where the beef is. He has three Gravelock Elders in his hand. And I can tell you what's going to be happening in his next three or maybe four turns as we get Gravelock Elder 1 down. Gun and Tomlinson starting out as a chump blocker. There is a uh, Ducal Spearman as well. But this could get very ugly in just a moment. As actually the Violent Dispersal is going to be really good to take out that Skirmisher as that's what he likes to do. Because he doesn't want to take the Relentless damage if he can avoid it. As long as he can protect these Elders that's fine. And these Spearmen are not going to be as much of a threat. So there's a Kabonk for a card draw as that's interesting as well. Uh, Artrox kabonking and not having much else to play. Maybe he has a Vanguard or bigger cards in his hand. I don't know, but right now he has two cards in his hand and is uh, kind of looking to be behind, possibly even more behind in a moment here. As Voidhead ditches or ditches the, uh, the Dust Runner and gets out another Gravelock Elder. And he can play a Copper Automaton here as well if he wants to. But he elects to hold on to the resources. He's not even playing the Potion of Resistance because at this point, unless... Artrox focuses it. The Potion of Resistance isn't going to do much good against a well, one health unit. So, oh, there's the Imperial Resources right there. All right, so as a player sitting here against energy, sometimes there's some situations where I love for my opponent to cast Imperial Resources. And it's usually when you ramp up super fast. And you can see here Voidhead having a great situation. How many Gravelock Elders? 
does he have on the board? It's going to be one, two, and three, possibly. There we go, putting the third one down there. And electing to hold on to the gun automaton, or the copper automaton as well, and just attack. As he has a fury in his pocket, he has a copper automaton. And uh, Artrox not having a lot that he can really do. He puts out on the honorable general, so it looks like he does have some cards here, but oh uh oh, between a bombard and a fury and a copper automaton, this is going to get nasty. Or no, not so much that, but this could get nasty very quickly. So he puts down the other copper. And right now he is just opting to try and do as much damage as he can to the board. So there we go. Plays the Fury as well, and there is a board clear by Voidhead, Voidhead of our Trox. So, tough, tough situation to be in. Look at all these creatures on the board. There is no double or triple quake that can save our Trox from this right now in the order hand. What you need is speed generals, what you need is speed Maganel with focus. What you need is just to try and get so many creatures on the board, but that is a terrifying sight to see three Grave Lock Elders. This is just turn 10 just turn 10 and he gets a thunder surge he gets a copper automaton he gets a violent dispersal so right now voidhead showing that energy still has something in the tank so let's see here artrox does he have anything that he can respond with he has six cards now he has eight resources but he's gotta make something happen this turn or he is going to be in a world of pain so he puts out the scholar and that's gonna be gg right there just so much damage on the board so there you go very short ranked replay here but i thought this was an interesting one to show just because yes energy's still going on i do want to applaud voidhead for repping energy out there it's he is someone that plays it and constantly uploads replays and this is what you get sometimes you get such the metagame revolving around uh resources like growth and resources such as uh order that sometimes you can sneak in something like energy here and I know you're gonna say you get three grave lock elders you're pretty much gonna win hundred percent of the time well you know what voidhead stills got a high rating regarding that so energy does need some love but I do just wanna say cool thank you very much for uploading this replay there is maybe some hope some silver lining that with some tweaks energy can be seen more play here because I do like watching it I do like casting it but I do just want, I know some of y'all want to see energy. So here you go. Voidhead wiping the floor of Artrox. That's it for this replay. Hope y'all enjoyed it. I will see you all next time.